Hey, welcome back for another video. But yeah, no, so anyways, um, I kind of dropped my seat because I'm more comfortable for making vids. But yeah, we're going to get to that, don't worry. Um, before we get to that, we're going to be showing off some Columbus, 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 Columbus. Um, we're not going to play the volume. I was tired. Fuck, I'm tired now. But anyway, so what I ended up going over, I discovered that the dungeon 1580 and 1610 give us the new materials, which we need the Akan gear to use. So for all those people, copium, 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 that are like, yo, we're getting the new dungeons. <laughs> no, I doubt it. I doubt it. And maybe I could still be wrong here, but I actually doubt that I'm going to be wrong. I was right. So we're not getting the new dungeons. We're not getting the new guardian raids. That's what I'm showing the two guardians in the uh, card, uh, dungeons. They give us the new materials. So either they're going to give us the dungeons and then we get materials that we don't need yet. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. So we're just getting Elgatia. So 1580 was a waste. Straight up. Straight up. Because you don't need 6P set to clear a con. Like, this, you guys aren't getting it, but that's okay. You're going to get it after this video. So, um... If you're playing one character or whatever you want, 1600, like, whatever, don't argue with it. But, like, efficiency-wise, no, it was straight up a waste. 1580 and 1600 was gross. And I'm doing it. I'm pushing at least one character to 1580, right? I'm pushing the pally and I'm pushing the bard because, like, why not, whatever. I could do two or three characters. I did the math. And I already hit my goal of getting my secondary 6 to 1490. Now I'm actually questioning whether or not I should do more than 6, but that's a different conversation for a different time. Either way, we're not getting... first. The first prefix... <laughs> Of this video is that we're not getting these dungeons. Period. I know I'm fucking right. Alright, so the next one. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Maximize it. Zoom in. So with the new setup, uh, there's only two modes, normal and hard, 1540 and 1580. So technically all of my characters are normal ready and technically I don't have to push them. Um, because at normal, you're going to get, you know, six pieces a week, which is totally fine. Like, yeah, you're not going to get one piece a week. It's going to take you a little while, but as long as you get your fourth piece set, like, you don't really need any of the set. Let's just straight up be truthful. But as long as you get your four piece set by the time you get to a con, that's more than enough. It's more than enough. So it's cap. It's copium. People are having you spend, and we're going to get to that, how much they're having you spend in a second. So I just want you to understand that, that. 1580 there's not that large of a value increase right the gold increase too there, there is value in doing this i'm not saying not to do it if you can do it do it like i'm trying to do it right um but yeah so i'm preparing for 1600 that's what i'm trying to prepare for more than this 1580 is bait 1580 was bait i should have stopped all of my characters at 1540 straight up because i never even did hard brawl five and six so, like, so I got the 1560 on most of my characters for nothing. For literally nothing. But yeah, so I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to get into that. Um, it's, like, it, read them when we, right? But, like, alright, so anyways, we'll cover that. Uh, we're not even going to cover the rest of this. And it's going to be people that are going to be like, oh, well, you can't cut this and you can't upgrade your stone. That's not sure you can merge these into those. And two, who gives a fuck? For what, like, 1% HP? Like, that's the thing, like, if... <laughs> It's, I'm not going to get into that. Whatever. You want what you want. But the point is, is it's trivial and not worth it. Um, so one or two characters maybe, but not all of them. Let's get into it. So essentially, to get to 1580 from 1540, it's like 300,000 gold. So to put that in perspective, I spent a minimum of, uh, well, actually 100,000 gold per character to get to 1560. It would have cost me to get characters from 1460 to 1490, 70,000 gold. So I basically could have gotten like my whole entire roster for the cost of getting them to 1560. Like my whole entire roster I could have gotten to 1490, basically. So I'm not even gonna get into that. But then we have the other stopping point, which is 1560. And then I put an additional 200,000 gold into a character to get it to 1580. Like it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Again, one character totally makes sense. Doing multiple characters to 1580, and I'm doing two of them because I already started the process. And again, I have six 1490s behind this, so it's different, but it's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, like, the, the rewards aren't even worth it. Like, it doesn't make a difference which one you choose. 
yeah, so I'm just I'm a little conflicted there, that's all. But, anyways, so I'm happy leveling my alts just to defend against all those people. What I want to talk about here is a lot. Uh, returning value, the gold, the total cost, right? If you want to get to 1600, it's 1.1 1 .1 million gold required from 1540 to 1600. It's about 1.1 1 .1 million. Um, I forget divided by 150 get oh yeah so that's different math i'll get to that in a minute um i forgot how many honor shards it was Twenty-two thousand um marvelous leap stones it's kind of a ton 82 million silver needed like that's kind of a ton Seventeen thousand array is kind of it's kind of a lot um i forget what the honor shard requirement was did i not write that but it was like 10 million it was like eight nine million it's a lot like i don't even have that I have enough to get to 1580 on all of my 1560 characters on a short quest. Beyond that, nothing. That means I'm like 6 million short. And I have to make up 6 million in 2 weeks. Or, I'm sorry, 2 months. 2 months, 2 and a half months, that don't make sense. They're either going to nerf this again. Like, the people that are at 1600 already, I want to know how. Or Max Roll's wrong. Like, there's a good possibility that Max Roll's actually inaccurate on the amount that it's saying it's requiring. Um, because it said it was going to take me 2 million honor shards to get from... Uh, well, actually, it's accurate. It kind of did. Never mind. Scratch that. But either way. So, yeah. So, my characters cost from 1460 to 1490 about 70,000 gold apiece. Okay. Um, that's the math you can kind of use. I did six characters. Right. So, we're going to actually do some new math. It's not even on here just for the fun of it. Six times 70. About 420,000 gold. So, it's less than one character to 1480 uh, or 1580. Or not less, but like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not, like, it's equivocal. Um, and then I have a bunch of math here showing basically the value that it will return. So, uh, the Marvelous Leap Stones alone by the six alts will be 336k by the time uh, a con comes out. Also, this, I want to disclaim, is counting it from not from when I actually just got the 1490 and none of these characters are actually 1520 yet except for the uh, the artist um but Calicos is like 20 marvelous so I could just do the math for 20 and just re-get this math but the the overall point is it's about roughly accurate um because of the rest bonus concept so I'm gonna produce basically the gold that I put into them by the time I get back to a con um the silver you know if you look at like playing just six characters i would be short so the reason why i have all of this drawn out is because i've shown you playing six characters what i would produce just normally playing unrested um or rested and how i'm going to come short of my goals anyways and that's how you know the people who have hit this are either omega whales or you know played the market <laughs> But, uh, like, I played them, like, a cap, man. Some people are cap, cap. But, anyways, the, the point is, if you take a really good look at this, um, it's just better numbers. It's all around. 240k gold versus 336k gold. I mean, it's just, it's not the same. It's not. What do you get? 24 level 7 gems. This one gets 35 level 7 gems. Like, I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. That's oh three. Oh, so this is actually seven hundred thousand gold worth. That's true. I stopped calculating. That's what this was. So I haven't looked at this in a bit. And then this one was what? I don't know. Did I even do the evaluation for that? I didn't. I didn't because it's not worth it. It's just not worth doing because it's just fucking. It gets stomped. It gets stomped. Like doing what I did was one hundred percent accurate. I now have twelve characters that are basically producing honor stones and leap stones and all that. And here's what the best part is too. My mains produce value. So, like, yeah, this is what I'm returning from these characters. But not only did it not hurt my account to do what I did, but you're adding this. You're adding this concept here. Can you see the amount? It's even more null void. Because I'm adding this to the total value of my account. So even if I just multiply this by two, it's like 1.4 million gold, which is the 1.1 million I need. Like, actually, that's hilarious. Now that I actually think about it, like, if you do it your way, right, um, Let's just pull up the fucking paint. I'm just going to open up the paint one. What I was just about to say there was it's going to cost us about right right here to get the 1600, 1.1 million gold from 1580. 
here's what's funny about that is that this is the math for one character right here like or yeah one character one unrest characters only make oh okay six characters i'm sorry so it's six characters that's math for six characters like unrested playing it every day basically religiously also playing more time like 10.5 hours a week like i do the math for the time it's more time than playing 12 characters with rest okay so i'm not gonna go over that again we did that in the other video go watch the other video um so it's more i'll link it at the end it's it's more right so we've already established that so now we're doing this rested concept let's show how we would actually come up short here so we get 240k gold from just the gems that we produce, and then what we didn't do the math for was the 39, right? So we have 39,000, I'm not gonna, or we'll do the 200, why not, because we have it. And then how did I do this? Was it a week? Four months of 70 a week. So it's 56,000 a character. Okay, so it's 39,000 a character in that time, times 6. So about 230,000, cool. So 230,000 plus 240,000. Really should have just times that times 2. So about 475,000 gold. So you're going to come on about half short by just playing 6 characters. So you won't even be able to get a character to a con. So now you know, everybody now knows, anybody who watches my video now knows, anybody who has a character that's 1600, you really should question that. I'm not trying to say you cheated, okay? I ain't saying that, because, like, everybody's a little shady, right? But, like, I'm just trying to say that you maybe shouldn't brag about your progress anymore, or you better start showing Steam receipts, brother, because shit ain't looking right. <laughs> like, shit ain't looking right, and I'm playing the game different. That's the thing. These guys telling you that I have six characters, that they're able to beat me, so I'm not like, no, stop the cap. Stop the cap. You're spending, or you're doing... Stop the cap. 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 Even the buses, right? Like, I have a way, other than clown and bro buses, which I, I have busing friends. Like, busing's not what it used to be. It's not what it used to be. Like, it's just too many people doing it, not enough customer. Like, stop. Stop. You waste more time sitting in the lobby. But, even if I compared this to busing, I'll bet you make more gold doing what I'm doing than you would if you bust. And I kind of want to do the math and figure that out. I'm not even kidding, actually. I'm dead serious. We'll see. But either way, so about 470,000, 500,000, you're about half short, right? But then we do it the other way. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Yeah, because it wouldn't be fair to calculate it that way. Um, it wouldn't be times six characters. It would be times three characters because it's two to get 56,000, so you're getting 168,000. Then plus the 350,000 gold, or 350,000 in gems for 518. So you're a little bit ahead gold value-wise, too. But remember, you're going to get all these other stones and shards and silver and all this other shit so in this first version you produce about 55 million the second one you produce 57 million the first one you're playing about 168 hours to a con the second one you're playing about 128 hours so what that's telling you is this second version the way i'm playing the game i'm only going to play 120 hours to get the same resources that somebody's playing 168 so i just shaved a whole week 48 hours of play time off to get the exact same production i'm just saying like it's if you're playing less than that and you're playing your main six rested then this is a, just a different conversation like if you're only focusing one character this is what sucks this applies to you even if you're playing less characters in less time like that's what's the underlying math works no matter what i'm doing this because again i want to be on the elite side of the game where i'm trying to get like a fat roster and for all the people that are like why don't you just make multiple accounts i have three accounts i don't use the other two accounts anymore i used to use them back in the day and like i was going to eventually funnel the gold to my main but you can't because you're leveling that account. So it never actually got to a point where I ever took gold from it. If anything, I sent it gold. So both of those accounts actually hurt my main account. It wasn't worth it. Now, if I had made six different characters, like what I did on my main roster, made all of the characters I wanted to play on all different accounts, maybe then there's some truth to what you're saying. Um, but then I would have to do the raids every week, and that's not what I want to do. I think you guys are still missing this, that I want the six main characters to get their gold every week, but the other six characters, once they get their sets and shit, I don't want to ever have to do the fucking raid with them again. Unless I want to, right? But yeah, so anyways, this is basically how it produces more. Um, and here's the difference, right? So with the first version, you have four or 500,000 gold, uh, and then you're short half of it, right? With the second version, I have 500,000 gold from my alts, and then I also have my mains on top of it, right? 
So now we're going to do, because they're at Hanamatan, um, and technically I have 28 times 7, but we're just going to do 28 stones, 8 times 2.5, because I play two two and a half days a week, right, times 6, times 4, because 4 weeks, times 4 months, even though we don't really have that much time, but that's how much value they would produce. It's so about 6,700 fucking marble stones. I guess that's pretty good. No sense. Because it wouldn't be, th it'd be times three, 2,000 times three. It should be a little bit more than that. So that those numbers are a little bit off. 100%. But either way, so about 168,000 gold from the main on top of it. And then we're going to assume that they also have the same gems. So plus 350. So it'd be basically the same. <laughs> basically the exact same. So there's your one minute gold. I'm just saying, like, I, I'm still going to be short. This isn't perfect. Um, I also have, you know, let's say 70, 60, 70K a week times four, four months. So 240,000 gold that should come out of just the next, or that was four weeks, so times four again. But another million gold that will come just out of the raids in Telecon. Now, granted, this is, again, a roadmap saying that I did this at when we got the roadmap, 2023 roadmap, with all four updates, like all four months ahead, all the way up to a con being August, that announcement, this is when I started doing 1490s, right? So that's what this is saying um, overall. If you are now trying to do you can't do this. You cannot do this. If you try to do this now, it'll hurt your account. Um, you had to be doing this up to this point to do this. So um, this isn't like a copy of what I'm doing and it'll work for you. This is a, These ideologies are true no matter how much you want to deny them. So true, as a matter of fact, that anybody who has only a six-character roster cannot, cannot possibly ever come, come close to keeping up with me based on math. Unless, again, they're either putting in way more hours, but even if they're putting in way more hours, it just doesn't make sense. Like you, I, I did this unrested. Like, this is you playing every day. You can't play more than that. Do you know what I mean? So, no, it's cap. It's cap. There's an argument for bussing. But no, now I, I do it to see the more I do this math, the more I know how many people had to actually either really will or RWT like straight up like this is it makes it more and more obvious like that's what you're not getting. All this does when I do this math is realize that anybody who doesn't have a roster like mine cheated to get to where the fuck they are or they spent a ridiculous amount of money and that whole play the market shit shut the fuck up. Shut up. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I've been there for all the same profit margins that you've been there for. None of the profit margins in the last, like, 10 months, 9 months, have been so large that you'd make more than a 20 to 30% profit. So either they're sitting on ridiculous amounts of gold that they can make two, 300,000 gold in one of those swings, but I've made millions of gold in those swings, and I'm not where they're at, right? One. Two, you're saying that in the beginning of the game, when we did have the 50% to 100% profit margins, that that's where they capitalized the most, but that's where we actually made the least amount of gold, so either they willed a ton for their gold, or they rwt for it in the first place. Do me a favor, stop telling me your friends played the market, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Know that you cheated or you didn't cheat, accept that you cheated and you didn't cheat, and, and just be done with it. Please be done with it. Or that you will. And I'm okay with both. That's the thing. I don't give a fuck. But stop. Stop. You kids are grimy, gross-ass people. You're grimy, gross-ass people. Because you, you're just liars. Like You're giving false confidence and false hope to people. And you're also bullshitting the, the, the numbers. You're making... Like, it's just sucks. You're the reason why FOMO exists. Do you know what I mean? You're also the reason why the bots were a problem for so long. So I'm just... I'm pretty irritated by that. But yeah, whatever. That'll probably get cut. But anyways... This is how you make up the gold difference. So now because I have a second roster, I can produce that second bit of gold that I'm going to need for the main. And, um, yeah, I just, and you know what's funny? Do you know what's funny? Actually, I didn't even think about this. All right. 60K times four weeks times four months is another 900,000. So it's actually 2 million gold. So doing it this way, now I didn't, I didn't even think about that, but you're actually pulling... So, actually, with a six-character roster, you would be able to or should be able to actually do at least one character. I should be able to do two characters to a con based on this math. That's actually what that's telling me. That's fucking book. That's crazy. Co -co 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 crazy. The reason I started doing the bard, by the way, uh, is because she had like 16 or 1700 marvelouses. So, I started tapping her instead of the zerker, like I said I was going to, because it just makes sense. Um, but, yeah, anyways, that's fucking nuts. It's nutty. So, that's... 
I don't, um, I think I'm just gonna end it soon. Uh, I know there's a lot more on the page that I didn't talk about, but really these are just all the costs, like 70,000 from, so the value that they produce at 1490, let's just talk about this for a second. They get 20 stones per rested, right? So times 2.5, uh, which is 50, so. And then um, we're gonna say times four weeks, right? Yep, yeah, times four months. So getting a character to 1490 for 70,000 gold would produce about 800 stones in that time times 25 gold, even though MLSs are more than that right now, Marvel Sleep Stones. It would be about 20,000 gold in return, so you'd get 20,000 gold of the 70 back just from the Marvelouses. Do you know what I mean? Like, And then let's assume that they get level 4 gems, because I'm going to say that they get level 4s if they're doing rested, why not? Times uh, 2.5, right? 2.5 days. And then um, on that 0.5 day, they actually definitely wouldn't get one. Times 4, times 4, divided by 3 for 5s, divided by 3 for 6s. Divided by three for sevens. So five sevens, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. We're gonna go on the low end and we're just gonna say four. Like we're gonna shave one. I'm not even kidding. And that'll be forty thousand gold right there. So that right there is already sixty thousand gold and then never mind the other resources, right? So um, it, they'll return their value. It's just it's cap. It's cap when people say that. Like I actually really should have instead of getting this character to fifteen seventy and almost fifteen eighty the pally and getting the bottom was up to fifteen seventy and getting all my characters up to fifteen sixty. I should have I should have leveled as many characters as I could to fourteen ninety and created a absolutely beast funnel um, because I have the opportunity to and it didn't. But yeah, anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, and then going from 1540 to 1560 was definitely an even bigger hit because it's like 200,000 gold. And what I'm trying to show here is that to go from 1540 to 1580, it's 300k. For that 300k, I can get a minimum of one to two characters. Um, but oh yeah, it's 80k because I fucking, I can't believe I did that. So anyways, the 80k is right here that I did a really bad job, but yeah, so that 80k, oh right there is added that 70k so for 150k i could have got two characters for 300k and that's where i got this math from so then it you see where i'm going with this like i hope that makes sense um they return their value not only do the alts return their value but they add value to my account like that's what's crazy like people are like they don't even return their investment now, i'm showing you how not only do they return their their investment but they they're profiting like it, it's, you guys are crazy 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 and just one more time, I just want to explain, like, I basically, I'm investing in this, at this point in time, right? And really, it actually took me until about here, because we're about to get to Ogasha, right? Um, so I'm like, two weeks before Ogasha, I was able to obtain, you know, my goal of 61490 secondary roster, it was right about here, okay? So then I only have two weeks to start, and then two months, so I'm already short a month and a half. So this math is a month and a half behind, technically. But some of these characters have been 1490 already anyway, so they were farming already. So it's it's a little all over the place, but this is at least standardized and easier to understand. And I'm still on track based on my math right now to hit this. I'm actually ahead of track because of all the one taps I got on the pally. But, um, but yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, what else? That's pretty much it, man. I mean, I don't know what else to talk about. Like, I did the evaluation at 25 gold a piece for MLSs. That's clearly not right right now. Like, they're actually at 38. So, like, the gold's more. But, and they're going to go up. Another thing, I guess I'll throw in a market prediction here for anybody who's watched the video. This is a treat for you. You guys know I always do this. It's like an Easter egg. Uh, the market's going up. Okay, I'm, I'm done telling you what I'm investing in. I'm done telling, beating around the bush with it. I'm just going to tell you which way the market's swinging. If I end up being wrong, fuck it. But I'm not going to be wrong. The market's about to go back up. Um... I don't know if gems will like spike. I mean, we're not gonna see like a crazy crack spike because okay, I had to take a look at the clip just to see what the fuck I was trying to say. So the tiers, the different tiers in the economy. Um, so let me go ahead and draw this out real quick. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, whatever. This is ugly. <laughs> so bad. But um, basically, you have con mats. Or you know what? 1600 mats. Actually, this is going to be interesting to see how this all turns out, but we'll see. 
Are you fourteen ninety? Thirteen oh two, or thirteen seventy actually, and then you also have you know thirteen oh two. Right. Basically, what I'm saying is what we're going to see in the economy coming up, and I hope you do watch this far because it's actually this is really good stuff. You can make money off this. Is uh, we're going to see a downtrend in these, and they're going to crash. These are going to plummet as well. These are going to plummet as well. Right. All of those are going to plummet because they're lower tier. These might. Um, like I said, these are going to go up before a con and up to a con and maybe right around a con they'll plateau for a bit. But then as soon as a con happens, after about a week or so, <laughs> crash. Because these are going to be the new materials and they're going to be kind of cheap at the beginning. Right? This is my market prediction. Remember that I said this. So the first like two weeks-ish, right, they're going to be relatively cheap. Um, and it's because people haven't gotten their set. This is an ecological structure. Remember I talked about how it's an economy, but it's also an ecosystem you have to respect, right? Respect the natural order. People can't get more than one or two pieces, so they're not going to be spending a ton of money on materials if they can't home, right? So, and this is also will be, right? So the, the market for them, they'll be expensive, but they're going to be on the lower end of expensive at first, if that makes sense. But then after about two weeks, when people start getting their sets, they're going to spike and you're going to see the <laughs> spike because everyone's going to be pushing all the whales are going to be pushing for that whatever the max fucking item level is right the next content 1620 um so that's what you should see in the economy those are my economy predictions now let's get back into making the video uh let's just control z all the way bingo but yeah so that's it um let's go ahead and cap this video off to these are like it, there's not much more to talk about um, also, oh, what I should talk about is that I said 70,000 gold here to get the characters up. Um, but it's it's just not accurate. It's not accurate. And I said 150,000 gold for two. Right, or 300,000 gold for two, I'm sorry. So let's just kind of do the math real quick. If it was 150k a character times six, it'd be about a million gold to get all six of those characters up. That's a crazy amount. I can't believe I spent that. But... Remember, I used books for almost every single tap, so you're dividing that by two. And I think that's what a lot of people aren't getting. The kid's like, you don't get enough books. I do, I do. Even if you buy the books. Like, the books are worth buying at certain points, like, especially now. So stop. Please stop. Divided by two, 450,000 gold to get the six characters up, right? And we just showed how they repay their value, like, ten times that, actually. Like, ten times that. Like, ten times that they have repaid their value. And actually, wait a minute. No, no, no again. No, again, because that's to get to 1540. They're not even at 1520 yet. They're at 1490. So I'm not doing the math like that. It doesn't even make any sense. So really, it's 35,000 because it's half is 70,000 times six. 210,000 gold. Not only do they repay their value, you're crazy for thinking that they don't. 70,000 a character to get from 1460 to 1490 times six divided by two. Because, again, the books, 210,000 gold. No, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. Not only does it return its value, I, they, the characters have been paying themselves back, I'm assuming. But, yeah, and, again, that's the evaluation of 25 or uh, whatever, a leap, right? So, like, if we did it where it's at right now, because I could sell them now, right? And I'm selling them now. That's what's crazy, yo. Like, I'm making the money now. So, actually, I'm going to do it based on, like, 35 instead. I'm just going to add 10 gold to it. And let's just say, um, let's do this 20 times... Uh, 2.5 a week, right? Or no, no, it's 20 times 6. So 20 times 6, even though one of them is actually the Hanamaton, but whatever, times 6, times 2.5, times 4, right? For 4 weeks in a month, times 4 months, times uh, 35, right? Yeah, it's 160,000 gold. That's crazy. Like, that's absolutely crazy. You do understand that, right? Like, just in the uh, Marvel Sleep Zones alone, it's 168k. Like, that already almost pays itself back. And then again, the gem concept would be uh, 6 times 4. Times 2.5. Times 4. Times 4. Divided by 3 for 5s. 6s. 7s. That can't be right. Wait a minute. Yeah, that was what I got before, though. Wait a minute. A level 4 times 6 characters times 2.5 days a week times 4 weeks times 4 months divided by 3 to get our 5s 
three for sixes. Three for sevens. Thirty-five sevens. Yeah, it's crazy. Three hundred and fifty thousand. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Get out of here with that crap. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. I hope you enjoyed both videos. I hope you enjoyed a double drop today. Um, I think that this was really simply explained. I think I did a good job. I didn't rant or target to people too many too much. I didn't get mad at people, so hopefully those guys are happy too. It just doesn't make any sense. You're not getting any value. Anybody that already pushed to 14, 1580 or 1600, like I'm doing it. I have two weeks left. I'm doing it now with two weeks left, and I'm about to show you that I'm about to hit it anyways. <laughs> like, listen to me. Please listen to me. Please listen to me because these secondary characters have been producing this value for quite some time now. Like, I was actually way ahead of this goal if I'm being completely fucking real with you. Like, I, I was way ahead of this goal. Like, the example that I'm giving you is not even accurate to what my account's been doing. You know? But, uh, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I really hope you guys get this shit. Especially because if we're on a con for a while, like, I really don't care. Like, you just... If they keep dropping the content requirement to, like... 1540 is actually a pretty good spot. It's a really good spot. And I would have saved a ton of fucking value here that I could have put into secondary characters. Like, just... For shits and giggles, we'll do one more piece of math. We'll do one more piece of math. I got my whole roster to 1560. Right? And we're gonna add... Because I got one character to 1575 and one to 1570, we're gonna add an additional 300,000 on top of that, right? Or 120,000. So, what we're gonna say is... 127 times 7, right, for 800,000. So I'm adding an additional one onto that to make up for it. It's That's not equivalable, first off. Like, me getting two characters to 70 is way more expensive than what I just added there. So instead of six characters, I did seven characters times 127,000. If you look at the top right, over here. That's where I got the math from. Okay. Um... And for the record, if you're wondering where I got the math from, it's good. You just go do your own research. Like, it's a real... It, this is the math, for the most part. Um, would it cost me about a million gold to get them there? And then to get these characters up, it was 200,000 gold. Oh, no. Divided by 210k, I think it was. I could have got four of whatever that was. So let's now see... 35 no please don't tell me that's what this was please don't i'm gonna be really mad at myself it was so first off this is exactly what i mean by massive blunders based on what retards are telling you and i'm sorry for that word i gotta bleep that word but for dumbass people telling you this because the reality of it is is that you're wrong you're wrong on a level I can't even express for the same gold that I got all of my characters to where I got them to to 1560. I could have gotten my entire roster up to 1490. All 24 characters could have got to 1490. All 24 characters could have got to 1490. I don't even need that. I only need three, too. Like, so wait a minute. It's not even that. It was 210,000 times three. Because I already have six there, right? So it's three. Yeah. So for 18 more characters, I could have got 18 more characters. Now, granted, that's I would have done that, right? That's because I don't have characters that I want still. But even still, I could have gotten... <sighs> like, y'all, how do you guys not get this? And a lot of you are going to say the whole playtime bullshit again. No, no, like 18 characters times 30 minutes a day. Right, and granted, I'm not saying I want to do the Guardian raids, okay? But I'm just saying that it's there to be able to be done if you can right times 30 minutes a day times 2.5 because i only play 2.5 days a week and we already know it gives you more resources so i'm not having this conversation times 2.5 days a week times fucking or er, we'll just do divided by 60 it's 22 hours a week so you're playing 22 hours a week playing 18 characters fully rested that's a lot i'm not gonna pretend with raids that like you're basically playing a 40 hour week but then the resources would be 180%. So now you're going to add another fucking million gold to this. So you get 3 million gold. Do you see what I'm saying? For the same amount of playtime that you're going to play your main 6 characters. Remember, because that's what we did in the other video. Was we showed that 3 characters can efficiently play rested the same as 1 character. So it's the same concept. I'm showing you that 3, three rosters, 3 18 characters can play the efficiency of 6 unrested. And, and the, the profits are crazy. The fucking profits are way higher. 
Like, way higher. Like, this is cap. I fucked up hard. Like, I fucked up hard. Like, the biggest blunder I think I've ever made was getting my characters all to 1560 instead of getting my whole fucking roster to 1520. Um, but anyways, that's fine. I mean, I'm gonna make up for it now because I'm taking a really good look at this with you guys, but the, the reality of it is, is you guys are fucking wrong. Stoops, ATK, Zeal, I don't give a fuck who wants to say it otherwise. All of you, you're all wrong. You're all wrong. Anybody that disagrees with me from this point forth, know that you are wrong. And if you find a way to somehow be right, great for you, but you're wrong. You are wrong. Um, this is crazy. This is crazy. Like, crazy value. Crazy value. That's insane. I, I blew gold for nothing. And the thing is, I would I had I would have had more time to farm stones to like like I bought like six thousand marvelous leap stones to get to fifteen sixty on all my characters too. Like let's just do the math on that. Like six thousand and this is when they were higher priced. They were like fifty five or something. Yeah, that's another three hundred thousand gold that I would have had just to throw into other shit. <sighs> And the only reason I'm even able to make it to 1560 or 1580 right now is because I also bought a bunch of juice pouches too. Like, I don't even want to go there. Yeah, no, this was a fucking blunder. It was a blunder. My gold invested into my characters here would have definitely paid for it way more. Uh, if it's not clear still, I don't, I don't know how else to explain this, guys. Like, I mean, come on. Come on. And again, if I didn't make my point clear, it's a waste to get to... It's, it's just a plain waste to go for 1580 or 1600 right now um, because it doesn't matter. One, they dropped it to 1540, but two, even if they didn't drop it to 1540, what I was actually showing with the clip that I didn't show, but what I was showing with this is even if they didn't drop it to 1540, was that you got hard gate two at 1560 so that all of my characters would have been able to get their set anyways and it wouldn't have mattered for me anyways so again the i was doing the math on that evaluation trying to show the efficiency of just not pushing from 1560 to 1580 but the reality of it is, is that they actually just dropped it to 1540 so it's like it just doesn't matter it's you guys you guys are crazy y'all are crazy and you're doing it for a set bonus of like two percent extra crit two percent extra damage like the Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy, crazy, crazy. Mm, but that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. I gotta get to playing the game right now. I got about an hour or two to play, so... Um, I mean, leave questions if you got questions, guys. Like, the reality is, though, this should just make sense, man. Also, oh yeah, I even did the math down here about... I'll say one more thing. If you do what I do with the Stronghold, um, you're only... Uh, by basically using the energy every day in the stronghold, not doing it, you're only going to be able to make about 4,800, uh, 300 a week, about 4,800 arrays by the time we get to a con, and you need 17,000 arrays. So the person who pointed out arrays as a bottleneck is very accurate. Um, obviously, making all this extra gold, you can make up for it, and that's the whole point of doing what I'm doing. But the point is, um, even if you if you do the more efficient concept, which is actually use your trade skill energy, which is like 10, 20 minutes every other day or something like that. You should be able to produce about 999 of these a week if you're doing it relatively efficient, okay? And that's still going to have a gold cost tied to it. But um, if you produce your own at 999, you should have about 16,000. So you're still going to be short about 1,500 of them, but you can farm them yourself. So I just thought that was a cool thing to throw in there. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. I really do appreciate getting up to, uh, we're up to 167 subscribers. So that's really cool. Let's try to push it like 200 or 500 or 1,000. Like I said, let's try to push push it. Push it. Um, let's get that number up because, well, I'm tired right now doing this. I wouldn't be tired doing this. Like, get me out of the workplace a few more days a week than two on good weeks. And I will uh, we'll make a difference. Like, we'll actually we'll change some shit, right? But yeah, that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I, uh, I genuinely can't wait to see the response. Wait, wait, I want my revenge. Welcome to the payday. Hungry for destruction. Crazy for the cray cray. Better clear the exits. Make
make a way to vacate. Ready to raise your right, yeah, I wanna raise a silence, yeah.